Welcome to IT Vision Enterprises Solution to Pass Question in BECE Mathematics Section A Objectives Year 2018 Questions 1 to 20 I am Lawrence Danso Amwakon alias Kapiri Impulse I am going to be your facilitator June 2018, Mathematics 1, Objective Test, Duration 1 hour. Answer all the questions. Do all rough work on this question paper. Question 1. Which of the following is arranged in ascending order? The answer is B. Question 2. If P equals to S said that S is an even number greater than 2 and less than or equal to 12, list the members of P. We may use the method of elimination to solve this question. For A, 2 is an even number but is not greater than 2, so A cannot be the right answer. For B, 3 is an odd number, so B cannot be the right answer. For C, 2 is an even number but it is not greater than 2, so C cannot be the right answer. So obviously, D is the right answer. Take note that 2, 4 is greater than 2 and the last figure equals to 12. Question 3. Which of the following is an infinite set? An infinite set contains uncountable number of elements, so the answer is C. Question 4. Find the ACF of 18, 36 and 60. We shall first find the product of the prime factors of 18, then 36, then 60. For 18, 2 goes here, 9. 3 goes here, 3, 3 goes here, 1. Therefore, the product of the prime factors of 18 equals 2 times 3 times 3. Now, 36 is 2 times 18, so 36 is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Then for 60, 2 goes here, 30. 2 goes here 15, 3 goes here 5, 5 goes here 1. So for 60 is going to be equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now the HCF, 2 is common to 3 numbers, so 2. And then 3 is common to 3 numbers, so 3. So the answer is D. Question 5. Write two hundred and two million two thousand two hundred and two in figures. That is two hundred and two million two thousand two hundred and two. The answer is D. Question says find the number that can be added to two hundred and seven to make the sum divisible by seventeen. We shall apply the long division method. That is 17 into 207 1 1 times 17 which I get 17 the difference will be 3 7 then 2 2 times 17 34 the difference will be 3 so 207 divided by 17 equals to 12 and 3 when we add 14 to remainder, we shall get 17 and therefore will be divisible by 17. So the answer is 14. Let us see. Question 7. If the set P equals factors of 36 and the set Q equals multiples of 4 less than 40, Find the number of subsets in P intersection Q. P equals to factors of 
36. We shall write down the factors of 36, but we know 1 times 36 equals 36. 2 times 18 also equals 36. 3 times 12 equals 36. And then 4 times 9 equals 36. The factors of 36 are therefore 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Now, Q equals to multiples of 4 less than 40. So we shall start from 4. 4 plus 4, 8 plus 4, 12 plus 4, 16 plus 4, 20 plus 4, 24 plus 4, 28 plus 4, 32 plus 4, 36 plus 4, 40. Now, P intersection Q is going to be equal to we've got 4 here, 4 here 12 here, 12 here 36 here, 36 here so 4 12 36 the number of elements in P intersection Q equals to 1, 2, 3 so N equals to 3 the number of subsets is given by the formula 2 to the power n, so 2 to the power 3, which equals to 8. So the answer is B. Question 8. Find the LCM of 10, 15, and 25. We shall first find the product of the prime factors of 10, then 15, then 25. So for 10 is 2 times 5 for 15 is 3 times 5 for 25 is 5 times 5 of 5 squared now for the LCM we shall consider the individual prime factors for the prime factor 2 the highest power among the three numbers is 2 for the prime factor 3, the highest power among the 3 numbers is 3. And for 5, is 5 squared. So, this is 6 times 25, which equals to 0, 150. So, the answer is C. Question 9. Evaluate two tests minus quarter or into brackets divided by 5 over 6 we shall apply the board mass rule and therefore we shall first simplify the expression in the bracket that is the LCM of 4 and then 3 equals to 12 3 goes into 12 4 times the numerator we shall get 4 times 2 4 goes into 12, 3 times the numerator, we shall get 3 times 1, all divided by 5 over 6. So 8 minus 3 divided by 12 divided by 5 over 6, which equals to 5 over 12 divided by 5 over 6. Now, 5 over 12 we shall change the division to multiplication and therefore we reverse 5 over 6 to 6 over 5. 5 cancel 5. 6 goes here 1, 6 goes here 2. So the answer is half, which is A. Question 10. Arrange 2 over 3, 4 over 9, and 3 over 7 in ascending order. We are to compare 2 over 3, 4 over 9, and then 3 over 7. 
the LCM of 3, 9, and 7 equals 63. 3 goes into 63, 21 times 2. We shall get 42. 9 goes into 63, 7 times 4. We shall get 28. 7 goes into 63, 9 times 3, 27. Therefore, 2 thirds is the same as 42 over 63. 4 over 9 is the same as 28 over 63. And then 3 over 7 is the same as 27 over 63. Now the denominators are the same. So we shall compare the numbers using the denominators. The smallest is 27. So 1 followed by 2 followed by 3. So the order is 3 over 7 followed by 4 over 9 followed by 2 over 3 which equals to D. Question 11. Find the simple interest on 600 Ghana cities saved for two years, eight months at 5% per annum. The interest equals to the principal times the time times the rate. The principal equals to 600. The time equals two years, eight months, which is the same as two, eight divided by 12. Yes, this is because there are 12 months in a year, and this is the same as 2, 4 goes here, 2, 4 goes here, 3, that is 2, 2, this, which is the same as 8 over 3 in improper fashion. So the time is 8 over 3 times the rate five percent which equals to five over hundred. Zero should cancel out. Three goes here, one, three goes here, two. So we shall get eighty for the answer. So the answer is P. Question twelve. The number of girls in a mid school is four hundred and twenty. If the ratio of boys to girls in the school is 3 to 2, how many students are in the school? The ratio of boys to girls equals 3 is to 2. The total ratio will therefore be 3 plus 2, that is 5. Now, the ratio of the girls is 2. And this corresponds with 420. Now the total number of students in school will correspond with the ratio of 5. So 5 will give us more. If more, less divided. So 5 divided by 2 times 420. 1 which equals to 1050. So the answer is A. Question 13. Mary had a chance to select a number from 1 to 20 randomly. What is the probability that the number is divisible by 3? Numbers between 1 and 20 divisible by 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and then 18. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in number. So the probability is going to be equal to 6 divided by 20, which equals to 3 divided by 10. So the answer is C. Question 14. Amma bought a pair of sandals for 20 Ghana cities and sold it at 24 Ghana cities. Find her percentage profit. The profit. 
is going to be equal to the selling price minus the cost price, which equals to 24 minus 20, which equals to 4 cities. Therefore, the percentage profit is going to be equal to 4 over the cost price, that is 20 times 100%. 20 goes here, 1, 20 goes here, 5. 4 times 5 is 20 percent. So the answer is C. Question 15. 8 men can do a piece of work in 12 days. How long will 6 men take to do the same work if they work at the same rate? 8 men can do the work in 12 days. Therefore, six men would take more days if more less device. So, eight over six times twelve days. Two goes here, one, two goes here, two. So, the answer equals sixteen days, which is B. In the diagram, PQ is parallel to ST and angle QPR equals 68 degrees and angle SRT equals 40 degrees. Use the information to answer question 16 and 17. Question 16. Find the value of the angle PQR. We are to find the value of this angle PQR. Let's call it alpha. Now, the angle over here is vertically opposite this angle so it's 40 degrees now the sum of angle in triangle pqr should add up to 180 degrees therefore 68 plus 40 plus alpha should be go to 180 or 108 plus alpha equals to 180 Therefore, alpha equals 180 minus 108, which equals to 72. So the answer is 72 degrees C. Question 17. Find the value of angle TSR. The angle TSR over here equals 68 degrees because they are alternate angles. So the answer is B. Question 18. A train is traveling at a speed of 60 km per hour. What distance would it cover from 10.45 a.m. to 12.15 p.m.? We shall first find the time interval. We shall therefore subtract 10.45 a.m. from 12. 15 p.m. 12 15 p.m. can be written as 12 hours 15 minutes and then 10 45 a.m. can be written as 10 hours 45 minutes now the difference when we subtract 45 from 15 we shall get a negative number. So we shall borrow one hour from here to here. 60 minutes make one hour. So we shall add 60 to 15, making 75 minutes. And then we shall be left with 11 hours over here. And then we shall subtract 10 hours, 45 minutes. Over here, we shall get 30 minutes, and then one hour over here, that's 11 minus 10. So the answer is one hour, 30 minutes, or one and a half hours, since 30 minutes is half an hour, or three over two hours. Now, we know that the distance covered is going to be called to the speed times the time. 
the speed is 60 kilometers per hour and the time is 3 over 2 hours so 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 30 given as 90 kilometers so the answer is C question 19 the perimeter of a rectangle is 26 centimeters if its length is 10 centimeters find its area a rough sketch of the rectangle 10 10 and let this be s and then s 10 plus 10 is 20 s plus s is 2s and that equals the perimeter that's 26 therefore 2s equals 26 minus 20 which equals to 6 s is therefore equal to 6 divided by 2 which equals to 3 so s equals 3 s equals to 3 the area therefore is going to be equal to 10 centimeters times 3 centimeters which equals to 30 centimeters squared that is e question 20 find the slope of the line 3s minus 6y equals 33 we shall write the equation of the line in the form y equals ms plus c where m is a gradient so 3s minus 6y to be equal to 33 we shall send minus 6y to the other side of the equation so we shall get 6y to be equal to 3s minus 33 or 6y to be equal to 3s minus 33 now dividing through the equation by 6 we shall get y to be equal to 3 over 6s minus 33 over 6 or y equals half s minus 33 over 6 comparing this equation with this m equals to half so the gradient is half that is c